This is the new Stanley 2.0. That's all I gotta say. This is the Holy Grail. I understand why people liked Stanley so much, but I'm a Yeti girl and I saw that these ha they had these at the new Yeti store. I've drank more water in the past like week than I have I think in my entire life. Thanks for watching this week's video. I am going to do a complete reset. I need a reset. I need to clean. I need to do my hair. I need to reset my life, okay? So, let's do that. But before we start cleaning, because I'm a procrastinator, as much as I want to do that reset, I want to open this package that just came in more. Have you guys heard of Alabaster? I... I'm so excited to start a women's group with some of my friends and we are going to start a Bible study together and I'm very excited about this because I think I've been wanting a group of women slash friends in my life that are in A, the same season of life that I'm in, but B, love Jesus as much as I do and want to grow in their faith together. I don't feel like I've ever had a relationship like that besides my sisters. I have nine sisters and I can completely talk to them about anything, but there is something about having a group of women that are your friends that can come over and you can meet um, either weekly or monthly and are able to talk in person about what's going on in your life, but also you all wanting to grow in your relationship and faith in Jesus together. I think there's something beautiful about that and I've actually never started a woman's group before so this is going to be something new for me and um if you have any suggestions or anything like that please comment um but I'm very excited to start this I feel like I've been craving it for a really long time I've been praying about it and I just feel like things have been falling into place where we're all like we want to do this we all want to meet and keep each other accountable and we all want to grow so I was looking at different devotionals and just trying to think of what could we do together as a group that none of us have done before? And Alabaster has some really cool devotionals. And so I decided to order one of those. And so I'm really excited to open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so right when you open up this, I don't know if you can kind of see it. But it says on this side, the oldest story is one of making. God created, God made, God formed. Our desire to create is an imprint of that story designed into the fabric of our existence. Alabaster. <laughs> this is very professional. Anyways, I ordered these highlighters. <laughs> Just kidding. But I did order highlighters because I needed like five more dollars and then it would have been free shipping. So why the heck not? Okay. I also got their prayer journal. And that was not for the women's devotional that I'm starting. That was just for myself. I wanted to be challenged on how I pray. So one of my words not last year, no, it was last year in 2023, um, was pray. Like I want to pray about everything and not just talk about it and not just two second prayers. I really want to pray about everything and have God at the forefront of my mind, like right here. Want it at all times, the Lord here. What does the Lord want? What is the Lord speaking to me? That's what I want right here in the forefront of my mind. So for me, I feel like I actually did really, really well in 2023 about praying and like trying to make it like a constant thing um, in my head, right? Like constantly praying about everything. This year, I always want to pray. I never want that not to be something in my mind, but I wanted a challenge on how to dive deeper into prayer. And me and my husband are actually watching The Chosen, um, the show, which if you haven't watched it, go watch it. 
it has been such a great conversation starter for me and my husband and it's been amazing but basically there are a lot of traditions and stuff in that show that i really really loved um for instance before they even like start praying about their needs or anything they bless the lord when i tell you that was like a revelation to me i said wow it's like i only come and pray about things that i need or like different things like that when i should be opening up my prayers every single time with blessing the lord period the lord can take me at any moment he wants blessing the lord thank you for the gloomy day outside bless the lord like I just want that. And I think, honestly, this prayer journal is going to help me dive deeper, pray about deeper things, reveal things in my heart that maybe I have that I didn't know about or things like that. And so I really, really am excited to jot down things that I'm praying about and see the fruit of maybe some of the things I was praying for. And then, you know, maybe years down the line, God answers those prayers, but it was written down and I can go back and look at it. And I think these are going to be great prompt questions of prayer as well. Things that maybe I'm not thinking about or things that I can like highlight because um, it's intentional, right? It's intentional prayer. And then this is the actual one that I have. This is the one that I'm doing for the women's group. And this is volume one. I think there's, yeah, there's two volumes of this. And this is volume one. Who knows if we're going to do the second one as well but this is just volume one um and it says experiencing stories from the bible and what it means for our lives today and it's the good and beautiful bible study anyways i'm very excited to start this i think my husband's coming down to say something come say hi come talk to the people <laughs> hey <laughs>
taking a break and getting Indian food yeah we ended up getting Indian food and after that couch potato literally sat on that couch and didn't want to move again and I did not finish all of my laundry I have so much here and as you can tell I even took off my bedding and it's in the washer right now so I just finished doing all the dishes and now I'm going to finish folding my laundry and putting them away and then I will put the sheets back on my comforter just got done with the washing machine so that it needs to dry but I'll put back on my sheets after that I'm chilling until I have to go to work this week is costume week at my studio so I have been on overload just trying to make sure everybody's costumes get where they need to go and any alterations that need to be done we have solutions for but it is very stressful making sure everything fits making sure I order everything correctly so work has just been stressful this week and I'm happy that it's almost over but I do want to have a fresh start I mean I do want to have a fresh home so that it can be peaceful when I get to the house and this laundry has been getting on my nerves just being in this room making it feel cluttered I've been wanting to do my sheets for a week now, which is awesome. And then the dishes were literally piling up that every time I looked at them, I just was like, this needs to get done. So I'm happy that I just knocked it out. So let's do some laundry.